Well, just about a mile north of Three Oaks, you're going to run into this beautiful place. And I'm telling you, it is definitely a place where I could get lost. It's called the Blue Moon Vintage Market. And of course, I've got Jen here and Vicki here, the Kerr ladies. <laughs> and uh, both of you are, well, your co-owners, co-partners, co whatever you want to call mother it. Mother-daughter. Mother-daughter team. This is so <laughs> cool, you guys. And, and I've, I know that you've even got a little connection to American Pickers here. So this is kind of cool. Do. Yeah, I mean, just really neat how this has all kind of come together. But what a cool story how this got uh, put together and just what you guys did and a passion Thank that's you. come together. Yes, so true. tell us a little bit more about it because I know the backstory, but they don't. <laughs> so this wasn't our intention, I guess you would say. Um, I was in the corporate world for a long time and um, we, this kind of fell into our laps where we were struggling with the loss of a family member a couple years ago. My grandfather had passed away and mm. we weren't handling it very well. and got through the holidays and I just kind of looked at her and was like, how do we go forward with, what do you need to do with all of this? And yeah. through tears, she said, I need to take a chalk painting class. <laughs> I had no idea what that meant. <laughs> so uh, found a stack to get creative, yeah. I guess. So yeah. It helps. Well, it's a yeah, yeah. process. Absolutely. So. Well, Our obviously, I, I can see that he's, he's poorly missed, and, and mm -hmm. but what I know that he'd probably oh, just be here. like, girls, <laughs> girls, just keep it going, just keep yeah, going. They're like, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> we I took mean, a class from that. Um, I found a stockist in the era. It's an English term for distributor with the paint. Um, we took a workshop that week, and it just snowballed from one thing into the next, where we started picking up things on the side of the road and painting them, <laughs> and there might have been a dumpster dive or two. <laughs> That's and, great. Yeah. Well, I can say this. I, I walked through here and I got lost, but this is the outside. I think we should take a tour on the inside and oh. see what you guys have to offer. And you're only open certain days of the month, right? One week in a month. One week in a month. Year round. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, yeah, I can tell you right now, folks, <laughs> if you're into vintage stuff, this is a place to get lost and it's easy to do. So let's go get lost. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that I saw when I walked in here was this big, long piece. I was like, this thing's got to be like 10 feet long almost. It was Beautiful. in a barn in Rolling Prairie when we found it and it wow. needed a new life and needed some help. It came in a shipping container from Europe several years ago and had been sitting in a barn ever since. And the barn actually had um, vines that came through the ceiling and had little suction cups and oh, the whole thing gosh. was covered. So, so it wasn't and even stored very heavy. in a climate controlled area. Oh no, there was some mold and yeah. some other issues. So Wow, uh, yeah. so you restored this whole thing. I did. Drawers, I did. everything work, can I do that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh wow, and they so pull open nice and easy. Good. Girls, you did a good job. <laughs> Thank right. you. So literally, we just used our paint on it and gave it a whole new life. So you know what? Let's talk about the paint. I know uh, I, I don't want to jump around on this because this piece deserves more attention. That's why you have to come here to see it yourself. <laughs> uh, the paint that you use, though, that's this chalk paint, correct? Annie Sloan chalk paint. Yeah. She's from England. She's the creator of the chalk paint formula. Um, she originated it about 27 years ago mm -hmm. at this point, yeah. and it just got to America. Seven years about ago. Seven years ago. The, the beauty of look the paint or... is that it goes over all surfaces without prep work. Wow. So you don't have to strip, sand, primer. You literally just paint it, distress it, wax it. Done. Yeah. It is awesome. Yeah. And you do perfect. workshops here too, right? To we do. Teach we, this? do. We, do. we do. Because yeah. look at this. I mean, yeah. And it's heavy. It's really, really heavy piece of furniture that Why, you, we moved together. So. You moved this together, just the two of you. It was an older man. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's say. <laughs> the man we purchased it from was almost in his 80s-ish. Yeah. And he weighed maybe 100 pounds and he helped us get it in the van. So. <laughs> he gave us a count. It was like, one, two, 16. Let's go, girls. <laughs> one, two, 16. Here we go. And away we went. <laughs> well, let's yeah. keep on moving. I, I, okay. You know what? You all need your own show in this building. So <laughs> gorgeous. Okay, so this board, I mean, I know it's not a real surfboard. It's probably used for something else, obviously. Decor. Yeah, decor. decor. Yeah. Uh, it's how tall? 13 feet. 13 feet. 13 feet. Goes all the way to the floor, everybody. <laughs> um, this was probably used in the 50s when they had stacked people on top of one another and do the cheerleading poses and <laughs> all that good stuff back in the day. But yeah, how did you find this and how did you get it here? Because that's interesting. That's a good question. <laughs> this is a good question. We were at an auction down in central Indiana. Um, they had two. They had three and we got two of them. And we thought, we were t about two hours from home, so we thought, oh, we've got the big van, they'll fit with no problem. We'll and stop at the beach at St. Joe, yeah. we'll jump in the water, <laughs> we'll surfing. test these things out. Yeah. <laughs> Find the nearest lake. Yeah. Um, we were able to stack them on top of each other, get them up over the dashboard so that we could shut the doors. <laughs> so it was up in the glass? Yeah, yeah. so she yeah. couldn't make any right-handed turns <laughs> on the way home. <laughs> oh my God. I had to let her know <laughs> if traffic was coming. <laughs> she couldn't use her mirrors. <laughs> awesome. We had one inch to spare, so it was 13 oh, feet exactly. Wow. Yeah. Somebody bought the other one, huh? 
Somebody yeah. bought the other one. Yeah. Yeah. We went up against a pergolo by their pool. So when we delivered that, oh, we got to see where it was going to okay. go. Really cool. See, and that's, that, that's the whole thing is you oh. have that kind of reward. Like you put all this work into going and collecting this stuff. You put it out on the market. People come here. And you yeah. know that they're going to enjoy it. Right. Yeah, or when they send us pictures when they yeah. get home and they get it staged the way they want it. You know, that just brings us it's so fun. much joy to be able to see that. Yeah. So, have it's, those and relationships. And, and they'll know you guys had a hand in this and their decor. I mean, they'll, they'll yeah. remember you. And, and We've gotten to be friends with a lot of them, too. <laughs> Our customers bring us birthday treats and presents and Christmas I need, Christmas to, start, I need to open up a vintage store. <laughs> yeah. Do they bring you cupcakes? Fresh watermelon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I'm doing it. I got whiskey from a vendor <laughs> last summer. and we got fresh watermelon. Fresh from watermelon from a, a local farmer. I should have brought you some tomatoes. We have a bunch of tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, They're yeah. They're going to rot if I don't bring it. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next thing. I, I, well, wait, wait, before we move. I saw this general store, and I have to ask, is that... <laughs> Is that a refab, or is that somebody make that, or is that actually the, an old piece? My understanding is that the foundation of the piece is old. Okay. Um, so then the artwork on it has been done by a local artist. Re so, retouched up. And, mm -hmm. Okay. But so see, a little bit of both. You think about the history of all these pieces, like when they were brand new and just made, or whatever the, the product was. Mm -hmm. yeah. The story behind it and the history behind it. You know, if you could just go back in time and go, okay, I, w I just want to see what everybody was doing around this product when it was being used or the people walking underneath the sign to go into the store. Right. And Even our farm tables, yeah. too. We have um, farm tables made from reclaimed barn wood, and it's one of our vendors that him and his boys um, do that. He has a full-time job, so this is a second job for him, where they go and they tear down barns that are yeah. falling apart, yep. and they repurpose the wood with farm tables. So I know, I've got 12-foot harvest tables. I've looked at this barn lumber, what they're charging now. No, I 30 know. 30 years ago, you'd go and the guy'd be like, just take, take it. it. Take it. Now it's like, uh, no, pay up, sucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's some value there now. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Well, I love the surfboard, love Thank the sign. Can we keep on mosey? Sure. Yeah. Right, let's do that. What is the story on this thing? He was in pieces in an attic of kind of an abandoned building. And we put him back together. My dad spent a lot of time putting all the fins and everything back together. And we hung him and this we fell amazing. in love with him. So yeah. we named him Sherman. Sherman. Assuming he's a sturgeon, Sherman, Sherman the sturgeon. The sturgeon. There he is. <laughs> we believe he's yellow pine, and we think he came from the East Coast. He has the original chains where he would have hung either at a fishery at or a, a restaurant. At a market or something, yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys are only open once a once month. Once a month. <laughs> and people say stuff to you all the time. All the time. It's Why a only once a month? And I have the answer. Because when you get here, it takes you 27 days to get back out the door. <laughs> That's why. So it's, like it's that. a long process of getting everybody out, and they get, have a couple days of stage. But no, it's because of what you have to do to get the store. It's a correct? ton of work to get it looking how we want it to look. It's restaged every month. So we're one weekend a month year round. Um, we're four and a half years in now, and we restage the entire place every month. So it's a three day frenzy. We feel like we host a party for three days, where it's just a a constant turnover of merchandise and as things go out the door we're bringing more stuff on the floor to keep the holes filled while we're open and and then at the end of that third day we take one day to nap and rest which was yesterday was our, <laughs> our napping day <laughs> and then we start all over again we go to Kentucky this Friday we go to Wisconsin we go to Upper Michigan Ohio um, we go everywhere well, I'll tell you what, Jen, Vicki, it's been a pleasure, thank you. and I, uh, thank you. I'm going to have to call my wife and say I'm going to be gone for a while. <laughs> Bring her uh, by. Yeah. Well, this is definitely a place where, if you've got something and you're looking for something vintage, this is the place. Get to the Blue Moon Vintage Market, just north of Three Oaks. Can't beat it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. See you, ladies. Bye. Thank you. All right. So now we've got to go get some food. Well, Kelly does. We get to go somewhere else and eat real quick, but yeah, Kelly gets to go hang out at Jim's Smoking Cafe in Niles, and just, if you're hungry, I'm sorry, we gotta do this to you. Kelly?